My weird neighbor asked me, why do you binge true crime? Do you love felons? No, I love justice. Clang, clang. In the latest Robocop game, justice comes in two metallic flavors, violent or non, SWAT cop or beat cop. There's the main justice missions where recruits blaze through wave after wave of whacked out creeps. Then there's the CERN protect parts, the more optional justice side dishes. The music is too loud. The campaign missions were a blast. Literally visceral, satisfying. There's nothing quite like red misting a pack of punks via the slow-mo Auto 9 mow down. I'm mowing the lawn. Bodies convulsing. Blood squirting, brains bursting, bloody revolting. Do you think violence can be beautiful? I found I could pick up Batty's guns, but why would I? The signature three shot burst of Robo's legendary shooter sounds like a goddamn hand cannon as it triple hammers skulls into exploding fireworks. Just call me Officer Melon Popper. Ripping off the turret guns is also a good laugh, and I was encouraged to use the big 50 cal sniper by distant marksmen who were turning me into Swiss cheese. Okay, time to fight snipers with snipers. There's no stealth, no gears ducking cover. I just stand and tank damage, soaking up barrages of small arms fire. I often operated under the cover of daylight, pulled up my big boy metal pants and got to work. To heal, I would whip up my data spike and fist the electrical box. So satisfying. I picked up perps and ragdolled them into their pals. Or straight out of the window, 40 stories high. Nice and easy. Crushed a biker with a dumpster. Or a bulky old monitor that weighs as much as a fridge. Or an Arnie and T2 motorbike. I know now why you humans cry. Cause I threw a bike in your fucking face. It's, what's the word? It's that thing so many game companies can't stand. Try to destroy it at every stage. What's it called again? I used to eat it all the time back in the day. Oh yeah, fun. The side missions go a whole different tempo. Here, I patrolled a few tightly knitted blocks of downtown Detroit with my standard issue notepad, serving the public trust by preventing petty crimes. These parts are procedural, slow, boring. For you. Personally, I love them. Scan for clues with my luminol jizzle vision and find the crimes? For me, this was Juicy Justice Jam. I observed a car illegally parked in front of a hydrant, causing a fire hazard. Vehicular violation, ticket issued. I detected a dude tossing his gross fish trash in the river. Illegal dumping. But he had no prior, so I let him off with a stern warning. No ticket issued. Stay away from fishy activity. I intervened when I saw two mean guys hurt a homeless man. Harassing my bum chum, fine issue. Then I realized I had become Justice Bot 9000. This was my precinct, my jurisdiction. I had authority. Put on an APB on a VIP in the LBC with the CDC. Next, I met some unfortunate streetwalkers and offered them comfort as they looked kind of cold and malnourished. These ain't no prostitutes, let me tell you. But the game had no options to ask her questions and engage in a discourse. Opportunity lost. The city is real rough, so I thought, hey, I'll help these citizens out. I started off as a good cop. I was kind to an old man who said I was a good sport. You're a good sport. I helped the store owner please? and the graffiti artist save the cop's suspension fund. Great, now out of my way. I found the lost kitty. OMG, super cute. Though my attitude changed pretty fast when I couldn't find that one final drunk dude. Soon I was trying to arrest any rando just to fill my quota. How easily we become the thing we despise. Textbook bad old fashioned police work. From serve and protect to uh, perv and sex pest. Leave them wanting more. Those that know me know I'm a collector. I rescued every teddy bear in Fallout 3. I geolocated all the Blood Diamond briefcases in Far Cry 2. I will find that shiny. In Robocop, the loot game is gathering evidence like a detective. Good old fashioned police work, yes! I was walking on air, servos whirring and humming the theme song as I robo stomped around the streets looking for stuff. <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
I obsessively hoarded all I could find. Incriminating files, pinched purses, counterfeit currency, and contraband. I was doing the dance of every dance. Beyond the justice, messing with the superlative physics in Unreal 5 was the other highlight for me. Marble walls crumble like month-old cake, allowing me to do the Matrix lobby shootout thing, but minus the cartwheels. Office cubicles fragment into showers of wood chips. Hanging chains swing when an enemy is hurled at them. Water coolers not only react, spraying water out of the bullet holes, but they even drain correctly. I shot up every single dispenser I could find, creating for fleeting moments a beautiful water fountain porcupine effect. In fact, my Robocop caused insanely costly amounts of collateral damage in every building I cleared. I put the gangs and punk squatters to shame. What the hell did Robocop do to the courthouse? It's a bomb site, even to face the statue of Minerva. As for a little a la carte mayhem, there are the Krylon parties that I threw in every building. Using the fabulous slow-mo feature, I popped the abundant spray cans into living art clouds of beautiful day glow colors that decorated fittings, furniture, and foes like a messed up Contempo casual shop display window. Yay! Even the little details stood out to me. I was clocking the rocks like the rock stars at Digital Foundry. Bet those guys know how to party. Barbed wire actually appears round and very barby. Chain link fences look like woven wires, not just a flat texture. So do I wreck Robocop Rogue City? Who cares? It already came out, bro. This isn't a review. I'm into the personal, emotional connection I made with the game. And the bear jokes. Ultimately, it gave me the feeling of being Robocop. I want to drive a 6000 SUX. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. More than that. It nailed the sense that Detroit was a living, breathing space populated with characters and positively dripping with atmosphere. Some of it even dripping down from the freeway above. I could taste the sleek, dazzling veneer of the 1980s, the tinny beeps and blips of the old school arcade machines, the breakdance beat of the ghetto blaster, The maniacal screams of the punks all completely off their tits on new. A cacophony of discordant sounds that somehow combine to create a beautiful city symphony. There's a surprising amount of depth given the source. Rogue City actually made me think. But then, maybe that's not surprising, because Robocop was always a deep movie. It's cyber cynical and punk as fuck. Satirical, gully, unafraid to show you the truth at the top of the tower. AI is not your friend. Robots may not be good or bad, but big tech algorithms are the opposite of the human soul. They should be distrusted. Rely on them to decide right and wrong, and the concept of justice gets real messy. What got me was, it's like my ego is that extra line of code that messes up Robo's programming. The remainder, the Neo. My Robo was caring and in touch with his feminine side. Like when I went around hassling the whole station for signatures on Lewis's get well soon card. It is for Lewis. I was busting asses for compassion. I used my authorita on everyone. Sign the goddamn card. Call yourself a cop? I don't care if you've got PTSD. You have three seconds to comply. A nice final touch was during the psych evaluations. The doc asks if you see yourself as Murphy, Robocop, or something in between. I took this third option because it seemed closest to the sense of the movies. No longer fully human, but still not a heartless AI. All this resonated with my soul chimed with me. Because even at the end of a hard shift, I still love justice. Book'em, Robo. Murder one.